Ah, sorry about that. Anyway, my, my name is Gosol Fafa. I'm back again with another stream tonight. Today is Sunday, April 21st, 2024. And it, and I decided to choose for a different game for tonight than the usual Fallout Tale 2 Wastelands. I decided to bring back one of my favorite one of my favorite games before I start getting obsessed with grinding. Uh, grinding it, and that is Star Trek Online. And we're going to be starting out with a new character. I know there's an event going on in Star Trek Online called the Delta Recruit event, but no, I'm not going to... But I'm making a character that um, doesn't benefit from it. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Okay. As you can see, I already made my character here. Just have to pre I'm going to start with a tutorial, by the way. Our captain's name is Sean. Um, I took out the guy's middle name, so it's Sean Wiles as the formal name here. And right now, the ship's name is USS Lightning. Just so you know, we have some stuff that's already unlocked from earlier, from my earlier playthroughs of the game. So we're gonna. I'll turn on the music in a bit. I'm gonna have to turn off in-game music once we're done here. Yes, we're playing the tutorial. Captain's log, stardate 6147.4. We're orbiting planet Taurus 2 in the Murasaki 312 Nebula. Our orders, investigate the disappearance of a science vessel in this area. Search and rescue operations are about to commence. Okay. Their heads. You can press the interact Yeah, I already know this. There. Okay, there we go. Lieutenant, we've located the wreckage of a crashed ship down there. I need to get boots on the ground. Find out what's going on. Take a landing party down to the surface. Assess the situation and look for survivors. Okay, we'll beam down right away, sir. Not so fast. We can't use the transporters due to atmospheric interference. We'll need to take a shuttlecraft down. Use the sensors to locate a safe landing site. Okay, sounds good to me, sir. Now, before we do, I have to take care of options here real quick. Also, minimize chat. Now, audio. Yeah, okay. There. Just, heck. Oh, no wonder why it's why it's so good. I forgot to take care of the display. Oh well. Okay. Scan the surface here. Did you find a suitable landing area? Yes, sir. There's a good-sized clearing close to the crash site. Excellent. I've assigned Ensign Mears to your landing party. She's been to Taurus 2 before. Her insight will be quite valuable. Meet up with her and the others in the shuttle bay. Don't forget to grab a phaser in the armory on your way. From what I've read in Jim Kirk's report, Taurus 2 can get a little rough. Aye, sir. I'm on my way. Your current tasks will be displayed here. Uh, disable those helpful pop-ups. I already know this stuff. Ensign Tarsi, reporting for duty. The captain's asked me to make sure you get back in one piece, and I intend to do just that. Thanks, Tarsi. Um, what do you think about Taurus 2? Let's see. M-class planet? Barely. The Taurians are big, primitive, and quick to anger. I'd keep my phaser handy if I were you. Speaking of which, if you want to follow me to the armory, we can make sure your phaser is properly calibrated. Okay, right, 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 lead the way, Ensign. Oh, hello, to Mike. 
Oh, great. The thing crashed. I think I need to reset the... Reset things. <laughs> That was unexpected. Okay, are you gonna be showing up on here on here anytime soon? Oh wait, dumb. I need to I'm don't wanna show you my other characters. Are we having issues here, game? No? Um... One second, is it... Okay, there we go. Anyway, we got ourselves... Okay. Good job, Lieutenant. That should be enough, unless you want more practice. Okay, I forgot how I'm trying I'm trying to remember the controls here. Oh that's scanning. There we go. And we'll head to the shuttle bay. Hello, what has happened here? <laughs> I'm just gonna run there. There's sh the shuttle bay. Ensign Mears. Ensign Mears, reporting is ordered. I'm ready when you are. Though I can't say I'm happy to see Taurus 2 again. Oh, why is that, Ensign? I was one of the so-called Galileo 7, a science team sent to study the Murasaki effect. Our shuttle crashed on Taurus 2. Not all of us made it back to the Enterprise alive. Okay, um, give me one second. I just noticed something on... on, on one of my screen... Uh, one of my things here. There we go. Anyway, I'm sorry to hear about that. Thank you. You can see why I'm reluctant to return to such a place. I do, but you're the only one on board with local experience. Your insight will be invaluable. I... Yes, of course you're right, Lieutenant. I am a Starfleet officer, and I will perform my duties. You can count on me. Okay, never doubt it for a second. Now let's get on board here. Yeah, what's the Copernicus? <laughs> Congratulations, Lieutenant. Hey, Yosa, how you doing? We already started off with a nice bit of crashing. <laughs> I'm not talking about the starship crash, by the way. I'm talking about the game crashing. It, I think it was something I did. Anyway. Ugh. It's just as grim as I remember it here. My skin is crawling. I can't help but feel like the creatures are out there, watching us, waiting to attack. Uh, stay alert. They, they very well could be. Right. Okay. Yeah, it I'm appears gonna... the ship crashed somewhere north of here. There are two paths from One here second, that lead to the crash site. And there may be survivors on both. I recommend you take Alpha Team along the northwestern path, and I'll take Beta to the northeast. We'll rendezvous at the main crash site. Sounds good. I'll see you there. Yeah, I decided to do the the camp um the campaign of oh, not the campaign the tutorial mission here because I'd, because I'd rather get my bearings with it again before we st start. Doing a deep dive into the in in the game that is. Is that a warp in the cell? Whoa. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, let's scan the debris here. Definitely Federation tech here. 
what's left of our shuttlecraft's coolant assembly, according to my tricorder. Might be a crash shuttle nearby. Let's have a look. There's your crashed shuttle. What's left of it, anyway? Look. Someone's over there. I think they're hurt. Let's give them a hand. Oh. I'm gonna need to zoom out on that map. Little... Lieutenant, hey. you won't be able to get close enough to revive him while that thing's venting plasma. Agreed. Well, let's try to shut it off. By the way, once we're done with this tutorial, we'll be, um, let's see, once we're done with the tutorial, we'll, I'll be doing a little bit of reclaiming stuff in the stores here. Thank you. We, we, we need to move. Those things, they're out there. Well, what things? Where? That red shirt. What do they feed these things? Ugh, never mind. Okay, yeah, I see there's some issues right this second. Gotta love that. I love those game hiccups. <laughs> okay, let's talk to the I'm here. Dr. Phineas Grogan, part of a research team studying the Murasaki effect. Well, I was before the ship crashed. I was looking for supplies when that thing roared. Got distracted and and then that plasma coil blew. Damn near killed me. Well, Doc, you're looking to be alive. You're telling me. We should get those supplies back to camp. Dr. Mueller's probably worried sick about it by now. Okay. Um, well, I'll get them and you lead the way. I wish I had myself a bit more powerful, um... Phaser right now, but hey, you can't you, you can't pick you can't complain right now. Okay. Am I glad to see you? We thought we were stranded here with those those monsters. We'll have you out of here soon, sir. Those supplies you brought will come in handy while we wait. Uh, just put them over there for now. Hey. You know, I think there's some old phaser rifles in there. Might come in handy against those creatures. Thanks, we'll have a look. There are rifles in that crate. We should show the survivors how to shoot them. I'll set up some targets while you get ready. Okay, let's... A, a phaser? Crouch. I've never shot one of these before. Wait, you want me to shoot this? Okay. Oh. The targets are ready, Lieutenant. Let the survivors start shooting and give them some pointers. Works for me. Okay, drop your shoulders. I get it. That gives me a lot more control. And adjust your stance. Wow, thanks. That feels a lot better. Yeah, the game is having some issues here. Heads up! The Torians are attacking!
Okay, I'm gonna do a little adjusting here. Because I am not liking how the graphics look. Okay, you get out of my way. Okay... Uh... Shadows high... Turn off the anastropic filtering. I hate that. Turn off the anti-aliasing. There, that seems better. Uh, at least, my opinion. We need to get these people to safety, Lieutenant. The Torians will be back, and in greater numbers. Agreed. You and Tarsi guard the pass while I get the others into cover. Into the ship? But then we'll be trapped. Retreat to the ship? With pleasure! Get everyone into the wreckage. Lieutenant, we've held them off so far because they're scared of our weapons. But I don't think that'll last much longer. We've got to fall back to the wreckage. I might have an idea. Hope it's a good one. Shut the doors! They're right behind us! Hey, look, one big giant red button. Okay, last time I was here, Scotty, uh, Commander Scott, electrified the hull of our shuttle. That drove the Torians off when they tried to break in. Think we can pull something like that off here? Yeah, that also would fit with Star Trek. Oh, okay, maybe there's enough charge left in one of these batteries. Okay, back over here. And that should do it. Okay, that's better. We got to now have wearing stuff and have hair. Yeah, you better run. Okay. You did it! Lieutenant, it worked! Bless you, Scotty, wherever you are. I think we owe you a very nice bottle of scotch. Indeed, so what happened out there? The Torians ambushed us. I managed to escape, but the others... They've been taken. We've got to do something, and fast! Get, get the other survivors to the shuttle. Tarsi and I will rescue the hostages. I was thinking. We can use our tricorders to track residual heat signatures left by the Torians. Okay, like thermal breadcrumbs. Good thinking. So, better get the get the phaser rifle out right now. Okay. Let's go rescue the... <laughs> yeah, back then it was definitely fuck the... <laughs> screw the not interfere screw the prime directive. I do what I want. <laughs> of course, I have to... F Okay, let's risk the Thanks captors. Thanks for coming back for us, sir. We owe you one. Pretty sure those things were gonna have us for dinner. Not on my watch. Okay. 
Let's get back. It's the shipwreck. Fascinating. The Torians appear to be in a late Stone Age state of development. Now isn't the best time for an anthropology lecture, Skial. Am I seeing things? Because those guys picking through the wreckage sure look like Klingons. Just what are the Klingons doing on Taurus 2? Let's find out. Ready, Phasers? Just in case they're not on the move for questions. Oh, they're, they're not. Looks like they're not in the move for questions, Lieutenant. Is that a Klingon pad? Bring it to me. I have some experience decrypting Klingon data. My little sister's diary was harder to decrypt. Sure, Klingons are good at fighting. <laughs> but yeah, this is exactly it's, yeah. A strong suit. And voila, one Klingon pad unlocked and ready for your inspection. Nice work, Ensign. Let's take a look. Captain Core, your plan has worked perfectly, sir. Many ships have fallen into our trap. We've snared a few merchant ships and a Starfleet science vessel so far. You'll be pleased to hear that we're picking up a Federation cruiser on long-range sensors. Constitution class. Time to hunt bigger game. Glory to the Empire! Okay, let's the Looks message. like the Klingons are using both guile and brute force here, Lieutenant. A pretty potent combination. The captain's definitely gonna want to hear about this. Agreed. Okay, let's get the. Oh, hello. Ow! Frickin' grenade. Them show up. Ah, come on. through them. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Come on, we gotta get going, people. Klingons! We're ready to go when you are. Hope this thing's got enough fuel to get us back to the ship. That makes two of us. Are you ready to board the shuttle, Lieutenant? Yeah, let's get going. Congratulations, Lieutenant. By the way, this isn't Constitution class. <laughs> Their sensors must be malfunctioning. Anyway... We made it. Never thought I'd be so happy to see a shuttle bay. I admit I had my doubts in the beginning. Didn't think I'd hold it together down there. Every time I heard those things roar. But here I am. Thanks for believing in me. Could have done without you, Ensign. Thanks. And now let's see what we are going to be dealing with. 
Klingons in the halls. <laughs> yep. Please respond. We have some uninvited guests, Lieutenant. We've been boarded. The Klingons have breached the hull on the engineering deck and blocked our access. Since I can't send security in, I need you to secure the deck. Okay, um, I sir, recommendations? Start with the engineering lab. We need to bring our plasma relays back online. After that, secure the armory and main engineering. Okay, we'll handle it, sir. Tarsi mirrors, ready weapons, and prepare to repel borders. I'm remembering an old Earth adage about leaping from frying pans into fires. Your orders, Lieutenant? Stay here with Tarsi to help this squad. I'll take care of the labs. I'll cover you while you clear out the lab, Lieutenant! Nope. Hello. <laughs> Rolled a little bit too late there. Primary plasma conduits. Get them running fast. Plasma conduits reinitialized. Auxiliary power restored. Now clear out that armory. Watch out! More Klingons! Great work. Secure engineering next if you can. Oh, come on. Okay. We've cleared the rest of the deck, Lieutenant. All done. Let's clean out main engineering now. Get out of combat before I can. Nice work. Internal sensors show you secure the engineering deck. I need you to take a look at the engines now. The Klingons fouled them up good. Aye, sir. Stand by. Engines back online. Initiate evasive maneuvers. I need you on the bridge, Lieutenant. Get out of the way! Sir, incoming transmission. Okay, let's activate view screen. Federation Starship, this is Captain Kor. Surrender if you must, but I'd rather you fight with honor. Why am I rolling? <laughs> Good work, Lieutenant. The Klingons will think twice before they try to board this ship again. <laughs> now take the helm. We need to get to a friendly sector. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Kid, take the helm. Sensors are picking up Klingon power signatures in two nearby satellites. I'm thinking they're broadcasting the distress signals that lured in our ships. Bring us in close so we can scan them and find out. Aye, sir. Okay, and... Um... Before we continue, I need to do a bit of fixing up on this. 
fixing up on this. I don't... Oh. Wrong. Wrong. I'm just remembering what I did beforehand. Is there... I forgot. Oh, there's rearrange HUD. Hide you, move you over to the side, move you here. And hide the bridge crew cell thing. And I'll put that here and move the low priority interactions here. There we go. All better now. Better put some... Put the new stuff on here. There we go. Wait, let's scan the beacon. Science report coming in now. The satellites are using a triaxillating signal. It's strong enough to cut through the interference and reach ships outside the nebula. Clever. Yes, Almost you could. Almost a shame we have to blow them up, isn't it? Yeah, you can, Almuza. Um, anyway, I sir, it's a real tragedy. Warning. Ship is under attack. Nice work. One down, one to go. Looks like this one is shielded. Just put more power into the engines. Let me guess, your your power is kind of like this, <laughs> balanced. Let's broadside this thing. So you know that you, that you can. Okay, answer. Can, can you hear us? We're under attack by Klingon raiders. Our shields are buckling. Won't last long. Hold on, Captain. We're on our way. Come on. Just. Ah, oh, there it is. The third one is the one that I like because you can adjust it accordingly. Offline. Could you transfer some energy and get them started again? Can do, Captain. Stand by. Thanks for everything. Good luck with the Klingons. Safe travels, Captain. Lieutenant, I've made some modifications to our torpedo launcher. I think you'll like the results. Yeah, first one's first one's weapon. Second one is shields. Third one is 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 engines, and the fourth one is auxiliary power, which is useful for if you're having a science ship, useful for making gravity wells and all that fun stuff. Anyway, acknowledged. Acknowledged. Put 
power to to the weapons. Weapons and fire at will. Yeah, more or less. Disengage. Enterprise on route to your position now. Oh, so that's what they were going after. So, the cub comes to fight beside the wolfie. And now you will die with him as well. Myself upon you and your lackey. Okay. Just have to answer that. Thank you for your assistance. Here. Okay, thank you for assistance, Lightning. Sensors indicate there's no more enemy vessels running in the sector. And it should, our actions today should deter the Klingons from further acts of piracy in the area, though they are often far from logical in such matters. Thanks for the update, Commander. Safe travels, lightning out. Looks like we're done here, Lieutenant. Starfleet Command wants us and Enterprise back for a debriefing on this mess. Helm, set a course for Earth Space Dock, Warp Factor 3. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when you're starting out, it's kind of, kind of, you don't know what you're doing at times. Okay. That's from the anniversary event. We're not dealing with that. Okay, I have to wait for it to load. Anyway, how are you do all doing tonight, chat? Hope you're all... Hope you're all doing well, excuse me. Anyway, let's get some music going. Ow! A little bit of hiccups. Captain Garrett wants to see you in his office, Lieutenant. But he says to feel free to mingle with the other officers first. I'd take him up on that if I were you. I mean, how often do you get the chance to meet the crew of the Enterprise? The best of the best. That they are, Tarsi, that they are. Anyway, before we do... I'm gonna get the whole bunch of things that I've... 
I got. Okay, where are you? Starter packs. Get the Temporal Agent starter pack. Not this one. On my way to the ship. Where are you? There we go. And let's go with... Actually, let's... Go what do you think I should name my Constitution class ship? Because I can't decide what to name it. Honestly, I can't think of think of the name of conventions off the top of my head. It's either it's either you either chat comes up with an idea for a name or I continue hitting random. Till I see one that looks good. with Ontario. Um, event buyout? No. No. Forms. Right, got the uniforms. Thing of personnel I need to grab. Sorry, it's taking a tiny bit, but hey. I'm not getting the cat, the cat yet. Oh look, I can... Oh yeah, I forgot I can claim, th claim this one as well. The NX class. Porta. A tardigrade. Don't need that. I can't really claim right this second because because either I already got it or I need re requirements for it. Anyway, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff in here. That's and. Because why not? <laughs> oh. Also, um, in here I need. Nope, not yet. Oh, did I know they moved? They made it so combat pets can be. Um, don't need to be equipped. Wait, it is a combat pet or um, just double checking. 
Oh, not, it's not combat oriented. So, I like to make it so I have two, two rows. What do you hear? And just put in the tribbles into my hotbar. There. Where's the Horta? Give me my Horta! <laughs> Yeah, it's right there. Um, give me that Horta and get rid of that. Um, got some stuff in the reclaim tab I'm going to need. That's nice. Got some Mirror Universe dual phasers here. <laughs> and... Oh yeah, I have to meet the requirements for that. Uh, Interbar will quickly talk to everyone here because I'm, I'm right now skipping it. That way we could get on with the missions. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, same here. Lieutenant O'Hor- And McC- Last two. That was a- Ah, uh, must- Sorry we're skipping this bit, but hey. Right now, trying to take- Wait, one second, need the map real quick. Other direction. That's where we need to go. Oh, I don't have the services yet. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Thanks for coming. I have some good news to share. First off, Fleet promoted me to Admiral. I'll be working with Deep Space Command on several exploration initiatives there. Our ship's going to need a new captain. I've talked it over with Command. And they agree with my recommendation. You. Congratulations, my friend. I know the ship will be in good hands once I'm away. Don't think you've gotten rid of me, though. I plan on keeping you plenty busy out there. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Every generation, Starfleet officers hear the call of duty. Hidden dangers lurk in space. Um, I'll and the threat right of Klingon attack has made even the most stout-hearted reconsider their so, choice to travel I'll throughout right the stars. Back. A last-ditch effort to find a common ground could end this conflict. But there are many who oppose peace. If the Federation is to be saved from chaos, new officers will need to take up the task of restoring peace. Live long and prosper, Lieutenant. Congratulations, Lieutenant.
And back! Sorry about that, it was a case of... I thought I had enough drink to keep me going, but I'm a little bit thirsty. <laughs> okay, first need to do a couple of things. Move those up, move you over. There. Anyway, let's see I have what... some new orders for you. Okay. I've outlined important people you should talk to while visiting Earth's space dock. Stay safe out there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, this is just one of those missions. Play our shuttle. Welcome. I'm here to help you choose a which one were you? And before we do, and I'm keeping the phasers on. Right where they are, right the second. I are just swapping. It just seems it just wasn't cooperating. Anyway, let's just get rid of this stuff. I have to <laughs> Did I get swapped to the right ship. No, not yet. All that excess. Don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. Now. Oh. And back to the. Actually, no, I could just click this. I know that being a starship captain is a big responsibility. I believe you're up to the task. If you feel that your ship it's is going ready to for storage right mission, now, I can give you new orders. Stay safe out there. You Ever hear of Edrin Four? Jim Kirk got into a tussle skills with the Gorn there right. and barely lived to tell the tale. Both the Gorn and the Federation have teams there now. I'd like you to back our new people up in case the Gorn decide to engage in a little cowboy diplomacy. Okay. Stay safe out there. Okay, I'm 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 just gonna be holding on to my skill points right now. But before we go, your drops are training. No ground equipment. I'll need myself a engineering frame since I'm in engineering. I want to buy a f couple of those. Can I access my... My bank. Account bank, that is. It looks like I can't. At least, 
from here anyway. By the way, I'll see you after the ad break. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head to my head, head on board my ship and use my bank account in there to access stuff I have stored there. I won't start the mission while I'm actually. <clears throat> I won't start the mission while I'm, well, um, while ads are going, just so you know. Welcome to the Soul System. Yeah, thank you. Anyway, um, visit Starship Bridge. <sighs> Thank you, game. Okay, this isn't right. <laughs> okay, no, that's turbo lift. Why, why did I get this interior? Okay. I have to remember where everything is on. Because I was supposed to start with... Oh I, for, oh, I forgot to do that at Space Dock. Oh, well. Let's see. My quarters? Yes. Um... Can't access the bank from in here. Isn't this just lovely? Let's try shuttlecraft interior. Welcome to the soul system. Yeah, blah blah blah. Um, small craft bridge. There we go. Aw. Can't access the account bank. Well, that just sucks. Welcome to the Soul System. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Hey, 
Anyway, welcome back everyone. Give me one second. I couldn't access my account bank at this time, just so you know. Wait a second. That does that is a Oh you son of a gun. Oh And and I can't get it. Well this is this just great. Wait, can I No I can't. Well this is this just lovely. I have to dock. This is Earth Space Dock. I have to get myself new torpedo launchers because I inadvertently sold the sold the sold the old ones. No, I did not say that. Where's the ones that I have? Don't want the Miranda. Oh no. There we go. No, it's Constitution that I wanted. That I bought with with this with the Zen Bucks. And I'll take Constitution Beta. There. Now let's get the heck out of Dodge. Now Welcome we to the Soul yeah, System. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. Um. Let's get out of here. This is Earth Space Dock. You're cleared to warp to... Astrometrics. And... A lot of course. Besides, I wasn't done setting up everything here. There we go. And yeah, we have to go right here. And we can only go as fast as, I forgot what the speed is on the thing here. About five. I'll save that for later. You know what? Instead of the Solani triple, I'm gonna have 
that Furidon here. Ah, gotta love that. Gotta love that warp speed. Slow. <laughs> um, anything else I can... Re oh, why am I stopping? Okay, anything else? Oh, come on, we're supposed to be going. I remember when when a big space like this wasn't wasn't available. What ha what it was is they had it set up so they had chunks of sectors, and you had to. But energy in the engines, it doesn't matter. It's a case of I'm stuck at warp five. So I'm leaving. Leaving that there. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, once. <laughs> Repeat that again because I'm muted because the Thunder could say something. You tards! Yeah, 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 go away, you Klingon scum. You targ. We're reading several Gorn ships on our sensors as well as the USS Zhang Ha. The Zhang Ha is hailing us now. Welcome to Edrin 4. I'm Bridget McKennon, CO of the USS Zhang Ha. Glad you could join us. My science teams are on site and conducting initial surveys. Apparently, this place is quite the geological marvel. We're not the only ones present, though. Our friends from the Gorn hegemony aren't terribly chatty, but so far they're keeping the peace. Well, I'm sure my people wouldn't mind an extra hand down there on the geological marvel. Feel free to join the party. Captain, the Gorn are scanning us. They might not be talkative, but they are curious about us. Orders? I recommend caution when dealing with the Gorn. They can be easily provoked. We have entered the orbit of Edwin Transporter Gorn, room to Captain. bridge. The geological team, supplies, and gear are ready to beam down to Edrin 4. Lowering shields for transport. I'm detecting some unusual energy signatures in orbital space near Edrin 4. Recommend we perform a deep scan of each. They could be hazardous. Strange. For a moment there... It's nothing, Captain. Thought I was picking up an impulse drive. False alarm. I'll recalibrate the sensors. Don't want to be jumping at shadows here. Captain, the science and engineering teams indicate that they have made it to the surface and made contact with the science team from the Zhang Ha. The rest of the landing party is standing by in transporter room one. They're ready to beam down when you are.
Ah, there you are. Better late than never, huh? Ensign Skavron, Starfleet Corps of Engineers. Lovely planet we've got here. Charming, even, if you're fond of heat and rocks. Still, it's not a complete wash. To say this place is mineral-rich would be an understatement. My first assignment out of the Academy was on Vulcan, working at a geothermal power site in Shikar. Great people, the Vulcans. Good at arguments, though all the logic comes off a little dry for my tastes. This is my first deep space assignment, and I'm damn glad for it. Hope we're going to travel to more than desert worlds, though. I hear Ryza's nice this time of year. My tricorder is showing some interesting mineral formations beyond this ridge. This looks like a good place to start our scans. Nice to see a report was spot on for once. The mineral deposits here are remarkably pure. This carbon deposit is unusually pure. Apparently, the Metrons don't prepare half-rate planets. Whoever gets the mineral rights to this planet will be pleased. Very pleased indeed. My reason to indicate there might be dilithium on this planet. I'll need to take more scans to be too sure. The variety of minerals in the topsoil alone is astounding. The soil here has a high concentration of sulfur. Either my tricorder's broken, or the soil here has an amazingly high concentration of sulfur. have closed off the pass. We can't reach the camp. Who would do this? Look, over there. It's the Gorn. This is Lieutenant Newman. One of the Gorn ships just exploded. They're blaming us and attacking our forces, on the surface and in orbit. Captain McKinnon tried to explain, but they aren't responding to any hails. Way ahead of you, Captain. We're defending ourselves, and our shields are up. Which means we can't beam you back to the ship. Afraid you're on your own for now. 
Over there! There might be a way out of this infernal canyon further down the valley. My microphone was muted. Uh, I should have a special redeem for that. I'll do that after stream. Anyway... Hello. Sompec lighting, lightning. Okay. We need a way out of this canyon, and I'm thinking that big rock up there is it. With a little Federation ingenuity, <laughs> we can topple this rock with a makeshift bomb. Once it's down, we can walk across it and get back to camp before the Gorn use the Zhang Ha's science team as target practice. Okay, and where will we find this bomb, Insulin? Have you read Captain Kirk's report on this place? We have all the materials we need here to make bombs. They won't be pretty like me, but they'll get results. Okay. If you can collect the materials, Ensign Hunter and I will work out where to place the explosives. We're okay. going to need at least three bamboo containers, sulfur, Potassium nitrate and coal. Okay, let's do this. Behind us! Let me put up a photon grenade launcher here. Yeah, after this, after this stream, the after the stream's over, I'll make a new redeem. Basically saying, "Hey, your microphone's muted." Hello. And let's just summon
Wait. Where is it? Where's my Horta friend? Let's take these materials over to the bottom of that huge rock. Right. Ensign Hunter and I will construct the bombs we need to bring down this rock across the canyon. That's the easy part. It's up to you to keep yeah, those angry are, going Yeah, they are, Joshua. Well, yeah, that they work. are. Hope you're a good shot. Yeah, yeah, understood. Well, at least the Gorn are punctual. Keep them off us! Crush that coal up good, Hunter. Not like that. Finer! Oh, it's not letting me use the combat pets. Careful with that! Potassium nitrate can react explosively with these materials! Now mix it with the cold! Carefully! I'd rather not get blown to pieces today if you don't mind! We're just about done! Now let's get these bombs in place! <coughs> Excuse me? Well, now that Ensign Hunter and I did the hard work, it's time for you to pull your weight around here. You need to place these charges under the rock. Spread them out, though not too far. I'm sure you can figure out an optimal placement. Okay, easy. Place him here, here, and here. The bombs are primed to blow. We should move to a safe distance. Yeah, about here should do. Fire in the hole! Back in the Academy, they said that in the battle of man versus nature, man loses. Well, take that, nature. Think your victory over Mother Nature will hold, Ensign? Absolutely. We should be able to climb that rock just fine. It's steep, but a minor obstacle for us nature conquerors. Just, uh, watch your step. Okay, we will do. Let's move out. I hope the scientists are all right. The Gorn aren't known for their mercy. Yeah. Looks like some Gorn came through here. We better hurry. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Things were looking pretty grim there for a moment. The Gorn. They kept saying the deaths of their people would be avenged, but we didn't do anything. I haven't fired a phaser since the Academy. Oh, uh, you're safe now, Doctor. Join your people on the shuttle and head back to the ship. Glad you're in one piece, Captain. It's clear up here for the moment. Transporters are standing by. Oh, what I'm using? 
Well, because I did a whole bunch of reclaiming, these are Mary Universe fa um, Phaser Dual Pistols. And yes, they are phasers. <laughs> Just not the ones that you're thinking of. Anyway, yeah, beam up. Be beam us up. Looks like the Gorn have exercised the better part of Valor, Captain. But the Zhang Ha's in rough shape. Captain McKinnon is hailing us now. On Good screen. to hear from you. Thank you for saving my people. No, no, no thanks needed, Captain. What's your status? We're making repairs, but it'll be some time before our engines are back online. Okay, we'll head to your position. Maybe we could keep, get you up and running and run up to you, you up and running faster. Okay, just. We're picking up Gorn warp signatures on our long range sensors here. Um, They're coming back! Hell, put us between the Zheng He and the Gorn. Gen up, not me, that is. Okay, and they ran away. Thanks for covering us. Uh, how did you sure know that? <laughs> I owe you one. Anyway, how are the repairs coming? Slow, but steady. Our warp drive is still disabled, but we're making progress. Okay, we have some spare supplies we can beam over to assist you. Thanks. I hate to ask, but something's bothering me. We picked up strange energy readings before the attack. It could be nothing. Uh, yeah, I highly doubt that. Send the data over to us. I'll have some of my crew look, take a look. Sending it now. I'd start with the debris of the Gorn ship that was destroyed. There might be a clue there. Acknowledge. Stay safe, Captain. Okay, let's get to the wreckage there. By the way, I like the new indicators. Captain, the crew of the Zhang Ha were onto something. I ran a deep scan analysis of the Gorn debris, and the results are damned peculiar. Go on. Gorn ships aren't as tough as a Tellarite design, but our scaly friends know a thing or two about hull plating. Whoever fired this shot knew exactly where to hit them. Uh, can you tell who did it? Not with the data we have now, but the science team just found another strange energy reading nearby. Okay, let's see what's out there. Helm, set a course. Picking up debris from the Gorn ship, and some trace elements of weapons grade plasma. Sir, I know who did this. It's the Romulans. Romulans, are you sure? I'll shave my eyebrows if I'm wrong. It's the Romulans, I'm sure of it. There's more bad news. The Gorn are coming back, weapons hot. Orders? Red alert, tactical. Just target their subsystems to disable them. It's the same ship as before. Doesn't look like they're back at full strength, though. 
Okay, let's have a little talk here. I see no run. Oh, one second. Oh. Have to restart that. We thought we could share this space equally, Federation. Your unprovoked act of aggression against our research vessel tells me otherwise. Captain, we have data that proves that the Romulans attacked that ship. I see no Romulans, only Federation ships. Do you think me a fool, Captain? No, and I got proof for you. I'm sending the, that data that exonerates us. Most convenient, Captain. But I am unconvinced. Produce these Romulans that you claim destroyed our ship, or prepare to pay for your crimes. Captain, I've got an idea. If we can generate a charged particle burst, we might overload their cloak. Make it happen. And there, here's Romulans. You're quite the clever one, Captain. Too clever, I'm afraid. No one can know of our actions here today. Your death, while regrettable, is necessary. We'll see about that. Plasma torpedoes. The hegemony will remember the Romulan treachery today, and your assistance in exposing it. I propose we continue our joint surveys of Edrin Four under a mutual non-aggression pact. Yeah, that'll work. Perhaps one day we'll explore together. So there was another player on the field. Nice work out there, Captain. 
We'll be heading for the closest starbase soon, but we'll be back to finish our work here. <coughs> Sorry about that. Torn, I'll wager. I think the Romulans will take a pass, though. And with good reason. Good luck, Captain. All decks have reported in. We're ready to disembark on your order. Take us out, Helm. Warp 3. Good to hear from you. I've read Captain McKinnon's report. Sounds like things got a little rough on Edrin 4. Still, the Diplomatic Corps thinks your actions will make a difference in future talks with the Gorn. Well done. Stay Congratulations, safe. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Starfleet hasn't heard from Deep Space Station K-13 in a while. It's in a tactically sensitive part of the Quadrant, and the Brass is getting concerned. Get out there, find out what you can, and render assistance if needed. And hey, be careful, okay? This could go sideways, fast. Yep. Stay safe out there. Okay. Just simply have the sh go on course. Um, can I? Nope. What are you trying to say? I already got this. Yeah. That's the wrong thing. Oh, I had to equip a kit. There. Okay, I haven't seen this before. Okay. That's for future me to be concerned about. Actually, I need to put people on stations here. And painful omens. We've arrived near Deep Space K-13, Captain. This is odd. I'm not picking up any comm traffic. No signals, nothing at all. From K-13 or the other ships in system. Ugh. Ugh excuse me. Yawn. That was a yawn. Scan for signs of enemy ships or activity. Sensors aren't detecting enemy vessels or warp signatures. No signs of combat, either. This is... peculiar. I'm not sure what to make of it. Okay, yell alert. Prepare for approach. Captain, the other ships are raising shields and charging weapons. <laughs> What are, you, what are you trying to do here? Come on. Get disabled, you stupid ship. Target shield has failed. All ships disabled, Captain. 
What is going on here to make to have you guys attack me? Captain, those were the Starfleet ships assigned to patrol this sector. I don't think that was a war game or training sim. Their weapons were at full power. See if you could raise any of their ships. Use all channels. Try whatever it takes to get through. Stay away! They'll, they're taking control! Don't come near us! They'll take you too! Ah, this station came from... The station? Ah. Ooh, who's taking control? What's happening over there? Message from Starfleet Command, Captain. We're to investigate the situation immediately. Okay, Captain Dougherty mentioned the station. Bring us close to Scan K-13. No signs of combat on board the station, Captain. No hostile life form readings either. Something... Everything's... quiet. Hmm, uh, something's not right here. Sensors are picking up a number of life signs over there. But I'm not reading any unusual activity. All of the station systems seem to be functioning normally. Think we should beam over and have a look around? Have a landing party meet me in the transporter room. I'm gonna have to go down there in force just in case. And now to wait. Just so you know, we have an ad coming up in in about 13 minutes. I just went over to take a look real quick at chat and saw like that also. No one's at their duty stations. Not even the transporter operator. Station's not on alert. What's happening? Okay. Tricorder's picking up a life sign nearby. Looks like they're in sick bay just across the hall. Set facers are stunned. Let's get to the bottom of this. Oh, medical generator. Nice. Those blast points on the wall are from phaser fire. There was a fight here. But with whom? No sign of Klingon or Romulan weapon fire. Just Federation. Uh, I got a bad feeling about this. The lights have all been dimmed. But it looks like sick bay still operational. Over to the right. Captain, I think I saw motion in that room to the left. Oh, uh, there's a medical officer here. Stop where you are and turn about slowly. I need to determine if you are infected. Infected with what exactly? Neural parasites. A life form last encountered by the crew of the Enterprise at Deneva Colony. Those possessed by the creatures tend to engage in hostilities with the uninfected the better to render them fit for infestation. Well, as you can see, we're friendly, Ensign. To Matt, and while you have not engaged in hostilities thus far, I have seen infected employ false passivity in order to lure unwary prey. A tricorder scan of your adrenaline levels should verify your status. Okay, logical precaution, Ensign. Scan away. Scans show a slightly elevated level of adrenaline though nowhere near that of an infected life form. Thank you for your patience. One can never be too cautious where these parasites are concerned. Okay, tell me more about them. I want to know what we're dealing with. They are a life form that propagates by infiltrating the nervous system of a host creature. Through this neural link, they can compel their host to obey their bidding. They can also inflict extreme pain upon the host at will and do so to discourage attempts at resistance. While effective, this punishment can lead to permanent neurological damage or death. At this time, most of the station personnel have become infected. While there is a possibility of uninfected survivors, I must warn that it is remote. Okay, I see. Any recommendations, Ensign? According to Starfleet data files, the parasites can be safely destroyed by exposure to high-intensity ultraviolet light. My attempts at reconfiguring the station's lighting thus far have been unsuccessful. I am a physician, 
not a habitat engineer. I see. As a precaution, I have developed a serum that can render a person toxic to the creatures. However, medical supplies here are limited. I have enough serum to inoculate your landing party and one other person. Perhaps we can find someone else via the comm system. Okay, hopefully we're not alone here. This is Lieutenant Wiles of the USS Ontario. Is anyone on the station able to respond? Now there's a voice I wasn't expecting. I take it you heard my distress call then. Well, in case you haven't noticed, the station's been overrun by neural parasites. The weed devils are back with a vengeance. Okay, so I see. S -s um, we're safe up here in sick bay. Can you join us up here? Uh, I'm afraid not. I'm in the auxiliary control room, down on the engineering deck. The place is filthy with parasites, so you'll understand if I don't go out for a wee jaunt. Understood, understood, Scotty. We'll make our way to you. Wiles out. I have secured a small amount of security gear. It may give you another edge against the parasites. Excellent, Ensign. You're with us. Let's gear up and head to engineering. Okay, better equip everyone else to my team here. If we pass through the mess hall, we can access a turbo lift to reach engineering. Whenever you are ready. And... There. Everyone's equipped. And... I got a whole bunch of clutter. These crew members, they're all infected by the parasites. Be careful. The creatures continue to be resistant to tricorder scans, sir. It may be fascinating. I'm detecting an unusually high level of tachyons nearby. Based on these readings, it is possible that a temporal event has occurred on this station within the last 4.2 hours. Fascinating, indeed. Let's keep going. Um... Would Mayor... Would Mayor Universe Phasers have even a stun feature? Yeah, they probably would have if they were for torture purposes. Or at least stop them, stop whoever they're trying to get in order to put them into the, to an agony booth or something like that. Okay, how how do you even get a chunk of ore here? Yeah, I s that's a <laughs> tractor beam. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, you see the thing on the back? That's the neural parasite thing, or as I. Or as my dad and I like to call it, the pancakes. Okay, to engineering we go. The auxiliary control station is down the hall to our right. I'm reading a single human life form within the room. The bio signs match those of Commander Scott in the Star Elite Medical Database. Let's not keep him waiting then. And we can't exactly Someone go that. must have raised the security field to cut off the auxiliary engineering section from the rest of this deck. Yeah, that's probably Scotty who did that. Hi there. It's good to see a friendly face. Ah, uh, there you are. I was beginning to get a bit concerned. 
Thought you might have been taken by those little beasties. I'll just lock the door so none of them can get in while we discuss our next course of action. Now that you're here, we've some work to do. The way I see it, we need to get to main engineering and turn on the station's ultraviolet lighting. That'll sort the nasty buggers out properly. Okay, is that so to met? While I cannot attest to the ability of UV light to sort Denovan parasites, it will initiate a complete molecular breakdown within all parasites exposed to it. <laughs> Ensign? Aye, she's a Vulcan, all right. I was trying to override the lighting controls from here. It looks like someone sabotaged several duotronic relays. We have to repair them if we're going to have any chance of saving the station. Before we go, grab yourself a kit from the crate there. It might come in handy. We glad better get a move on. The parasites aren't ones to loiter about. Anyway, glad you're with us, Scotty. Lead the way. Okay. I already have one of those, but another one never hurts. Aye, this is one of the broken relays. Right here. That one was easy. Just a few more to go. All right, there are several ways for the engineering. And keep in mind that the parasites tend to stay in the dark. If you want to avoid it, do your best to stay in the dark. Thank you for the reminder, Mr. Scout. Straight away. That takes care of that. No trouble at all. This one just needs new fuses. There we are. Good as new. Now this may be a bit tricky. Sorry about hitting the microphone there. Just so you know when the ads come um, turn on again, I'm, I'm just gonna just a wee bit longer. Um, I'm gonna take a small little break. There we are. Now. Okay. Domain engineering. Ah, get off me, you stupid! Ah, it looks like someone has overridden the command codes. You best get to the command center and see what you can do from there. I'll All stay here, barricade the door, and keep trying to get those UV lights going. All right, Scotty, stay safe. And through the Jeffrey's tubes we go. Look, who are those soldiers? They're definitely not stopping. You 
the lights while the commander's down. And there goes the pancakes, as I call them. Or as Dan, I call them. Yeah, Jeffrey's tubes. Anyway, ads are starting, so after this, all of them. Salvage what you can and send a squad to kill the Federation vermin. Okay, we might be a little bit busy, but after after defeating them, we'll take a break. And they are. Don't know. Anyway. Take that, and we're taking a little break here. So we need to I'll talk. be right back. And I'm back. Okay. 
Now, let's talk with Instant Hunter here. Yeah, anyway, um, Hunter, now's not a good time to talk. Actually, the name's Daniels. This may be a little difficult to absorb, but recent events may make it more plausible. I'm actually from the future. I can't tell you how far. Just that it's a future worth protecting. That's why I'm here now. The aliens we're fighting are called the Nakul, and they're waging a temporal cold war with us. They're trying to change the timeline here in order to disrupt the future. Understand that I follow a temporal version of the Prime Directive. There's only so much I can reveal to you. Trust that we're doing the right thing here. I can't tell you how far. Just that it's a future worth protecting. Okay. Time's a factor. We need to stop the Nakul from obtaining the neural parasites. The Nakul ship that brought these invaders is now fighting the USS Ptolemy. Someone must have sent a distress call. Unfortunately, Ptolemy is no match for the Nakul. And neither is your ship, at least not alone. We should eliminate the parasites on the ships you fought earlier. Those crews will help you once their minds are their own again. It's risky, but it's our best shot here. Okay, that's a lot to take in. We can return to the ship on your orders. Yeah, let's get out of here. We're gonna need to help th help them out. I have to beam out. The Ptolemy is holding them in cool off while we rescue the other ships, but they won't last long. I'm screen. I'm transferring command codes to you now. Use them to remotely access the computer on those disabled ships and emit an ultraviolet flash inside. Thanks, Scotty. This is Captain Seralto, the Ptolemy. We have engaged the enemy ship, but we are outmatched. Please restore those ships and join the fight quickly. That did it, Captain. Looks like everyone's coming around. The parasites are gone. This is Captain Doherty of the USS Myrmidon. What... what happened? Your crew What's is... going on? Your crew was taken over by neural parasites. We, defe we defeated them. Now we need your help fighting this alien ship. Parasites? What? Okay. Sorry. We're right behind you, Captain. Lead the way. Acknowledged. Something's wrong. We're not doing any damage. They have some kind of temporal shielding. Oh, temporal that's... Temporal shielding? Never heard of it. But maybe a modulated iron burst could destroy you. There we go. Full reverse, full reverse. Okay. Oh. Fine work, Captain. You sent those devils back to wherever they came from. I, uh, we do have a wee problem, however. The burst I sent, when combined with the power source, created a feedback pulse. The feedback is creating some kind of spatial anomaly, which is beginning to pull the station in. We need to evacuate immediately. Knowledge. Let's get the back away, back with the station here. Scott here. The portal's collapsing. We're in for a right bumpy ride. Everyone's aboard. Get us clear before that portal blows. There she goes! I don't think anyone's ever seen a station do that. Captain, before K-13 was pulled into the vortex, I picked up a few distress signals from inside the station. Scotty, you said we had everyone. They're... gone. Perhaps not. After all, it was a temporal vortex. They may well survive. In another time. Let us hope so, Scotty. Let us hope so. Well then, it's been quite a day, hasn't it? Neural parasites, time traveling readers. Why, things will seem almost normal once I'm back on the Enterprise. Speaking of, 
I'm sure one of the ships here can give me a lift back to her now that they're parasite-free. If Starfleet Command gives you any grief on this, remind them that lives are more valuable than equipment. And you saved a lot of lives today. Thanks, Scotty. Give my regards to Captain Kirk and the crew. I apologize for springing all of this on you at the last minute, and I'll explain more as soon as I can. For now, I can tell you that history is unfolding as it should, and that was not the end of K-13. You're building a fine tradition of making the right decisions in crisis situations. In the meantime, don't talk to anyone about the Nakul or their time travel. We can't risk any further corruption of the timeline. Understood. We'll talk soon, Daniels. And I'm going to get more, get to need more answers. System scans clear, Captain. Looks like everything's getting back to normal. We can leave the system on your orders. Let's leave. Okay. Talk to Garrett. Let me get this straight. K-13, an entire space station just disappeared into some type of spatial anomaly? <laughs> and I thought some of Kirk's after-action reports were a little out there. Starfleet Command won't be pleased with the loss of K-13, or the people that were still on board. But they'll be happy to hear about the lives you did save. Good work out there. Keep it up. Okay, we got ourselves a whole bunch of stuff. I'm um, just double checking something here real quick. Oh, holy cow, I did not realize the Comstar thing got turned on. Bad Comstar, wrong universe. Stay Congratulations, safe. Lieutenant. Okay. We have a problem at Babel. Caridian rebels have taken several Federation trade officials hostage. They're threatening to kill them unless the UFP withdraws from the Corridan sector. I'd like you to work with the negotiation team and try to resolve this peacefully. Okay, then. Let me just... equip some new stuff onto my Captain, ship. I need to speak with you in my quarters. I think it's time for that explanation I owe you. Yeah, in a second, Daniels. I'm a little bit busy. There we go. New stuff equipped and okay, I'll be there shortly. There's more to this mission than you realize, Captain. Something's not right. I'll explain shortly. Just take care of this flashing thing, it was getting annoying. Wait to go faster. Come on. I feel like I'm pedaling here. Anyway, I hope you're all doing good tonight, chat. Oh, because I forgot to, because I for, didn't really notice it till now. Thank you, Protocol Thirty Seven, for following. I wonder why I'm not getting any alert sounds. Okay, while we're heading there, um, everything's going to be choppy for a little bit while I check up on, check up on the whole, um, alert thing here. Okay. Okay, let's begin return to Babel.
I think I might have to use Twitch's um alerts because it's not since my alerts are not working that well properly. Um, but All I have right. to choose something else. I appreciate your patience. I'm what's known as a temporal agent. It's my job to preserve the timeline. You helped me stop one temporal incursion at K-13. There's been another at Babel, and I could use your help with it. Welcome to the Temporal Ready Room. I use it to monitor the timeline. The Nakul have sent agents to a critical point in time. We believe they disrupted the Babel Conference in 2268 aboard the USS Enterprise. I want to send you back there to stop them. You'll be sent back to a point shortly before the conference begins. I'm sending one of our best temporal agents along. I believe you've met. Nice to see you again. It's been some time. For me, at least. For you, I see hardly any time has passed at all. It must be strange to see me looking, uh, older. Once you're on Enterprise, deal with the Nakul and make sure the conference proceeds as planned. You'll have a temporal transponder, which will allow me to communicate with you and bring you back. You'll also have these bioscanners. They're short range, but will detect Nakul agents nicely. Do the job right, and no one will know we were there. Yeah. The situation at Babel shouldn't be happening. Something in the past has changed. And not for the better. We'll make this right. Let's begin by using Enterprise's sensors to look for signs of our time-traveling friends. The computer won't have any details on Anakul, so you'll need to recalibrate the sensors manually on the bridge. Okay, I'll take care of it. Oh, and one more item to be aware of. Ensign Pavel Chekhov is currently on duty on the bridge, which is why I will be remaining here out of sight. As much as I would like to visit the bridge again, two of me in the same place would raise questions neither of us <laughs> wants to answer. I... Time traveling commando slash agent of the Federation. Yeah. Understood. I'll leave my officers here just with you, just in case. Let's get to work. I will check with you again after you are done on the bridge. Okay. No, no, wrong button. Have them all stay here. I haven't worn this uniform for some time. It's a little. Mm, snug. Do, 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 do. A little bit off. Oh, I forgot about this little mini game. Nice work. I'm getting some readings from Deck 11, but I can't pinpoint them. Some sort of interference. We'll need to get close and scan by hand. Start with the mess hall. There are a lot of people coming and going there. Okay, head to deck 11 now. And how do they... And how, also, how do they know what the true timeline is and what has changed? Well, they observe it, and also they try to change as little as possible to maintain a quote-unquote correct timeline. Okay. Oh, come on, move. No, it's a cutscene. Logan, I would speak to you. Does seem unavoidable. How do you vote on the Corridon in mission? Of course, they're going to do this.
Senses are showing that one of the delegates is leaving the lounge. Follow him. He might be trying to slip out before you can get a scan. I'm on it. He won't get far. Is there something I can help you with? Uh... Oh, um, apologies, Abaz. Just routine check for biocontaminants. Oh, should I be concerned? It was my understanding that the transporter filters out biohazards. We're being especially thorough, Ambassador, for everyone's safety. You understand, I'm sure. Of course. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way. Have a pleasant evening, Ambassador. Okay, um, wrong. Why do I, why does it do that to me? Looks like they're on the move. Though I'm still getting a lot of false readings on the sensors. Let's keep checking the deck. Like the old Russian saying goes, two heads are better than one. Right, um, let's head back to the church to collect some readings. Being here takes me back. It was quite a different time for Starfleet. Head back toward the reception. There he is. Wait, that's Ambassador Gav. One down, unlikely more to go. There's nothing we can do for Ambassador Gav, unfortunately. If memory serves, Captain Kirk was attacked next, on Deck 5. Well, okay, let's move out before it's too late for Kirk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when this happened, I was very excited when it came out. Well, I can't go back for it now, unfortunately. The captain's wound is serious. He'll bleed out if we don't help him. Stabilize him quickly. Dr. McCoy will be here shortly to finish the job. Leave, leave, leave it to me. Okay. Good. It looks like the captain is stabilized. We need to move. I've detected Nakul technology in engineering. We'll stop them there. Can use the turbo lift over here. <laughs> I know, I for really wasn't Oh, hold on. Someone set a bomb in here. I cannot diffuse and keep the mains online at the same time. Wait, Chekhov. Is that you? You look older than me, laddie. And you, the last time I saw you was on Dorzana Station. Something was dodgy then, and it's more than a wee bit dodgy now. It's Complicated, Scotty. We've been sent back in time to keep the Enterprise from being destroyed. Aliens are trying to alter the future of the Federation. There's no time to explain. You have to trust us, old friend. We're here to help. All right, lad. You can start by helping me keep this ship from blowing to pieces. And get rid of that bloody bomb, if you can. Just tell us what you need to do, Scotty. Divert power to the number six shield. Good work. Now check on that bomb. Auxiliary power to shields. Oh, auxiliary power. Where's auxiliary power? Oh, right over here. Auxiliary power to shields. 
shields. Good work. Now check on that bomb. Repair team, detect 19. Good work. Now check on that bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The captain's ordering me to cut the power? Uh, I see what he's about. That got him. We can't disarm this bomb, but we need to get to that Orion ship anyway. We can take it with us. Why not just beam it into space? We can't let that ship be captured. It has dangerous technology on it. Scotty, I need you to trust me. That ship needs to be destroyed. You can't tell anyone what happened here. It could damage the timeline irreparably. Besides, I'm captain now, so I technically outrank you. <laughs> All right, lad. I'll take you at your word. Once you're ready, I'll send you and that bomb over. Game is over. Good luck to you. Energizing. Technically, this is impossible. Not yet, anyway. Now, what's this? The Orions will lock down their ship. We need to override their security systems. Oh great, they got that uh, cool here too. Power cell. Science kit that I don't need, can't use. Some hypos. Yeah. I'm going to try to attach the bomb to the Orion ship's engine controls. I'll need you to cover me. See if you can hold them at the doorway so they can't shoot me in the back. I'll try to keep them away from your checkoff. Was feeling difficult. Oh. Active. Hey, what's up, Daniels? Okay.
That was close. I'm glad I got you out of there in time. You're both valuable agents. Of course, no one will know what you've done today, with the exception of Commander Scott. That being said, this won't be the strangest thing he'll see in his career. Not by a long shot. It might make our next week a little awkward, though. Indeed. Comes with the job, I'm afraid. In the meantime, I can send you and Captain Chekhov back to your respective timelines when you're ready. Thank you, Dan. Thanks, Daniels. That was quite an adventure. I think you have the makings of a fine temporal agent, my friend. As good as it was to see Enterprise again, I have other duties to attend to. We're preparing for a very serious event, the Battle of Procyon V. That conflict will determine the... Uh... Ah, but you don't need to worry about that now. Enjoy your time on the frontier of yesteryear. A time that will never come again. True, thanks for everything, Captain. Until next time. Okay, let's return to Sector here. Okay. A lot could have gone wrong today. We could have lost critical figures in history. Sarek of Vulcan, James Kirk, and the crew of the Enterprise. The list is long. However, the timeline was reserved, thanks to you and Captain Chekhov. The Babel Conference proceeds as planned, and Korridan is admitted to the Federation. Well done. I'll continue to monitor the timeline for incursions. I hope I can count on you again when the time comes for action. Okay. Got ourselves a good good chunk here. I'll take the human tactical officer. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Okay, join up. Okay. Things are heating up with the Tholians. Monitor stations are detecting large fleet movements toward Federation space, and they're refusing all of our diplomatic hails. We're doing all we can to prevent a war, but it's not looking good. I want you to join a task force I'm assembling. If this goes south, I want my best people on the front line when it does. Okay, then. Stay safe out there. Head our, head our way there. And now the to Federation check. shouldn't be having significant issues with the Tholians at this point in time. I've been scanning the timeline, and I think I've found the problem. Two years ago, a Tholian colonial fleet was destroyed. The Tholians blamed the Federation, and increasing hostilities have ultimately led us here. This is something I'll need your help to correct. Yeah, I understand that. I've pinpointed the incident in question, setting temporal transponder back two years. We need to correct the timeline during the Defiance encounter with the Tholians. Mm hmm Okay, I'm right now trying to find a certain meme. <laughs> yeah, literal, literally infinite time. Sorry, I'm trying to find a certain meme I remember seeing. And I don't have it here. Just so you know, everything's going to get choppy for a minute while I take a look off stream here. Oh, say off game here. To find where it is. Uh, where are ya? Come out, come out, wherever you are. There we go. I'm uploading it, uploading it to the memes channel, but I will be showing it on stream, so give me one second.
There we go. Yeah, I just remembered th this meme. Um, let me just turn on the web browser capture here. Yeah, show me the bridge of the Enterprise. NCC 1701. No bloody A, B, C, or D. And what do you get? You get the Enterprise from from um, Brave New Worlds. That's the meme I wanted to show off. Wait, back to this. Unsurveyed territory. Should quickly up upgrade my my ship here. Read the deflector and make it a little bit. A little bit hard to destroy. Uh, let me. Okay, stations. Good. To get the tractor beam. Okay, let's begin this. Okay. Um, everyone, I'm going to be hitting the play ad button be um, af when we have ourselves a little break here in the story here. That way we're all set up for when stream ends. But first... We've arrived in 2268 and not a moment too soon. The Nakul are clearly out for blood. Tholians are quite xenophobic. They may feel the Federation is part of the problem. They've got to hit otherwise. I'll remind you oh. that our orders What? Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. But I'm sorry. Still the situation here is all okay. Agree. Put, put them on Good screen. Good to see you. We're in a real tight spot here. The Tholians were taking a serious beating when we reached the system. And the other ships opened fire on us the minute we dropped out of war. Mind lending us a hand until we figure out what's going on? Sure thing, Captain. Let's save the let's save the Tholians while we still can. This this was a Tholian column. Eight. See if you can take a little pressure off. We need to firm up our shields. Over for cooperation. Attempt. The aliens have disabled the Tholian flagship. She's in trouble. Sir, if the Nakul kill the Queen, an entire Tholian bloodline will be wiped out. Ship integrity compromised. Enemy boarding parties are beaming to the Tholian flagship! Destroy the alien! That's the plane! Estimated Tholian casualties are in the thousands. Vengeance! Vengeance, my children! Come on! Come on! 
down. One more. suppose you have any idea what's going on here. There's nothing on these aliens in our computers or why they'd attack the Tholians, or us for that matter. Later, Captain. I'm gonna stop the borders on that Tholian flagship. Alright, do what you need to do. We'll talk about all of this when the shooting stops. Deal? Deal. Stay safe, Captain. I know it doesn't feel great keeping information from the Defiance crew, but believe me, it's for the best. I'll monitor the situation here while you assist the Tholians. Do what you can to save them. Good luck. Okay. After we load in, we're gonna... Because I know we're gonna have to put on environmental suits. Um, I'm going to play ads, just, just so everyone knows. Actually, while we're loading, I'm playing the ads now. We'll be right back. Anyway, uh, um, I'll, I'll see you a bit later, Yoza, if you're, if you're still, if you come back while you, oh, mom's still streaming. Anyway. I found appropriate transport coordinates on the Tholian flagship. Be right back.
And we're back. Okay. Continue on here. Um, I'll keep an eye on things, Daniels. Let me know if anything changes. Sensors show the interior of the Tholian ship is too hot for us. You will need to put on an EV suit before going there. Understood. And we got EV suits. Let's go. I'm reading multiple Nakul hostiles, sir. They're all over the ship. Let's clear them out. I'm reading only a few Tholian life signs. I'm detecting numerous Nakul life signs, and more are on the way. Nakul reinforcements are on their way to your position. The power levels on the flagship just spiked. Something wrong. I doubt the phone. Come on, we have to go. Self-destruct sequence. We've got to shut that down and fast. The Nakul have triggered this ship's. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Not finished yet. The last remaining Tholians are close to your position, and more not cool are on their way. I'd hurry if I were you. We are not of the Nakul, we're from the United Federation of Planets. Federation Nakul, all humanoids are the same. Chaotic, irrational, peaceful, then not. Roaring, then you leave. To your eyes, we're all humanoids, but we are not of the same mind. Those you call Nakul kill our people, our children, all our dead. Our sisters must know. Leave now, Federation. Leave us to our final task. What can we do to help? We fought the Nakul. We came to save you. You cannot help us. Too late. The hatch 
nothing slaughtered, the colonists lost. Nothing can help in the face of this terror. We must send our message. Others will come. Leave now. We've got enemy ships on an intercept course, including a dreadnought. We won't last long against a force like that. Understood. Continue to fight the cool. Keep them from us while we contact our sisters. If you speak truly, you will not betray us. We won't let you down. We better get back to the ship before that Nakul dreadnought comes into range. Let's go. Okay, just have to wait. I've been monitoring the Tholian Queen's progress. She hasn't been able to send the signal to her people. Orders? We'll protect her while she works, Daniels. That, that message must go out. Okay, let's have a little chat. What's the situation here? Where did those alien ships come from? I'd like some straight answers for a change. Look, Captain, my orders are need to know and... And I don't need to know, right? I read you, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. That big alien ship is still heading our way. Let's focus on that. Sounds like a plan, Captain. Miles out. Here they come. <laughs> More ships 
inbound to our location. The alien dreadnought is concentrating fire on the Tholian flagship. sent word to our sisters. The Naku will pay. The Federation will not. Now, vengeance for the slaughter of a generation. Vengeance for our children. The Queen's message has been sent through subspace and... Yes! The timeline is correcting itself. Good work. Now, we just need to help with... Queen is going to full impulse. She's gonna ram the not cool dreadnought. Evasive maneuvers, Wiles, to define. Get out of there. Look at the Defiant. Perhaps a scan would be in order? Scanning. I can't tell if there are life signs over there or not. Defiant appears to be phasing in and out of local space-time. The interaction of Nakul chronal energies with the Proto Nebula has made this area of space very unstable and prone to rifts into other dimensions. Uh, is there anything we could do to help? We might be able to get a lock onto their crew with the computer's assistance and perform an emergency beam out, but we'll need to act fast. No. I'm afraid that this is their fate. This is one of the hardest things about being a temporal agent. We can only make the changes we have to make, not the ones we want to make. There has to be something we could do here, Daniels. I'm afraid there's not. History states that the Defiant went missing, only to be found here weeks later by the Enterprise. Though they're lost, we now know that they played an important role in keeping the Federation safe, in protecting the timeline. For what it's worth, I will be sure their heroism is included in my report. The Tholians will remember this as well. This encounter may lead them to be more inward focused, avoiding conflicts with the Federation for the time being. At the very least, they will know that it wasn't the Federation that was responsible for the destruction of their colony convoy. See that you do, Daniel. See that you do. But history never forget the name. Defiant. All decks have reported in, Captain. We're ready to return to our own time on your order. Make it so. And we'll turn this in. Captain Archer had similar concerns when I worked with him. We often disagreed, but in the end, we were able to work past our differences and do the right thing. I hope you and I can do the same. Leaving Defiant to her fate was a hard choice, but it saved untold billions of lives. That has to count for something. Yeah. Congratulations, Lieutenant. 
Okay, and that's it for tonight's stream. We have um, a situation in the Caleb system. The Klingons are massing a battle fleet in that sector, and it's pointed at Federation space. I'm leading a force to respond to this aggression, and I want you to be a part of it. If they cross the line, we need to be ready for anything. Yeah, yeah, I'll Stay accept it for, for next week, or whenever we this get playing this. This is a pivotal moment in Federation history. Ugh. <sighs> As I was saying, the Nakul may attempt to disrupt it somehow, change the course of time. Daniels, I said we'll we're need to look for signs of temporal flux. Daniels, I'm going to end my stream. If they show up. We'll need to deal with them. Daniels, no shut up. Uh, as I was saying, it's time to end the stream. <laughs> Anyway, I thank you all for tuning in. Um, for those who who, who um, want to subscribe, who want to um, follow, I have a schedule. As you can see, we ha you could read that in the in chat, and you'll see when I stream and what I stream. And I also have myself a Twitter account. You know, I po post there whenever I go live. Or any of or any random stuff that pops in my head, and we I also have a Discord server. Um, just click on that link; it'll take you right to it. Anyway, I thank you all for tuning in. Please stay safe out there. Now let's do a little raid here. Let me just go to because I didn't think about that till now. Um. Ah, let's find a channel. I'm thinking. Uh, ah, uh, let's just go with this one. Um, let me just type it in real quick. Mind you, this is further up in the story, just so you know. But hey, I'm I'm giving you a giving you some place to raid. Again, I thank you all for tuning in. Please stay safe out there, everyone. Bye.